Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar's Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you how I make my Mexican style rice and beans. So I'm going to start by roasting the tomatoes. I'm making a smoked salsa. I have used about six large tomatoes but you can use maybe three because I need it for something else later. And half yellow onion and some garlic. And I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil. And I also used drizzle some uh, cumin powder, some paprika, red chili powder, and some black pepper, okay? Just to get some beautiful flavors. Now I'm roasting my tomatoes in the, on the stove top, as you can see, but you can use the oven, you can use the grill, you can use the charcoal, whatever works for you. So after every couple of minutes, when I flip this over to make sure that the tomatoes are roasted or toasted all over, all right? So I've got this on high heat and as you can see this side is beautiful so we're just gonna flip them over on the other side as well and uh, if you want to use the store-bought one in a jar or in a can please go ahead and use and once that's done I turn off the heat now I'm just going to remove the skin only for the onion but I'm gonna keep the skin for the tomatoes because I want all those flavors and uh, I'm just going to peel the garlic and uh, this is, it gives a very sweet taste to the salsa. Then after that I'm just going to blend it. You can use a food processor or a blender. So this is what I have. I'm going to use it for salsa and for the rice. All right, now in this pot we're going to make the rice and I've used uh, olive oil and vegetable oil, total about three tablespoons or so. And um, some garlic, fresh garlic, about four cloves of garlic that have been chopped. We're just going to saute this for a couple of minutes. You don't want to burn this. And then I add my onions that are diced and uh, bell peppers. I've used green bell, pepper, bell peppers. You can use red. That's fine. And I've written the measurements in the description box below. So we're just going to saute this for a couple of minutes. And then I added some paprika, about one teaspoon and one teaspoon cumin. And you can use a little bit of red chili powder as well if you wish. Unfortunately, uh, my people don't like spicy food. All right. So now I added the tomato paste. I have used about two teaspoons, but you can use up to three. That's fine. Then once you add the tomato paste, uh, you want to let it cook for about two minutes because you know to remove that uh, tomato pasty kind of a taste and then um, after that I've got my rice ready which is one and a half cups of basmati rice that I've washed and uh, soaked for about 15 minutes and also drained and then we're just going to mix it well and also let it uh, uh, cook here for about a minute or so before you add the liquid. So now it's time to add the salsa. I've used uh, half a cup of salsa. You can use up to a cup, but if you use a cup of salsa, then you're gonna reduce the liquid for cooking the rice, all right? So we're just gonna mix it well, and I have used vegetable stock for this, about one cup and uh, three fourths. For every cup is, uh, for every cup of rice is one and a half cups of uh, liquid. And some salt to taste. And I have used uh, red kidney beans, about one and a half cups. You can add more if you wish, and you can use any type of beans that you want, black or pinto beans, or any kind. All right. I'm just going to mix it well, and then we're going to bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, going to reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm making some pico de gallo. I've got red and yellow bell peppers. You can use any color. Some semi-ripe mango. Red onions that have been diced. Some cilantro, chopped. Uh, paprika. You can use red chili powder. Some salt. And we're gonna squeeze in a lemon or lime. And I have uh, mentioned the measurements for these ingredients in the description box below. Just gonna mix it well. I have used total about uh, three tablespoons of uh, lemon juice. Also made some salsa out of the tomato puree. 
Now it's time to go and check the rice. I want it to be nice and fluffy and a little bit sticky, very moist, and it's exactly what I was looking for. Now you can serve this rice with anything that you want, or you can have it plain. It's good. Uh, some fajitas, some barbecue, some steak, and uh, we plan to make some burritos. And I've got all the condiments ready, the guacamole, and... Uh, the pico de gallo and the rest of the condiments that I've already shared before I'll put the link in the description box below so as you can see the rice and we're just gonna garnish it with some cilantro and this is the burrito that my daughter made so thank you so much for more recipes please visit me at Romo Zanzibar you'll find all the ingredients on this page and in the description box below